Welcome to EDU Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will discuss about properties of determinants, important and joint inverse of metrics. Firstly, we will discuss properties of determinants. There are several properties of determinants. Among them, first is that determinants remain effective if its rows and columns are intact. That is, transpose of a of t of determinant is equal to determinant of a. If the uh, transpose is what? It is in the interchange of rows and columns of the matrix A. And if matrix A is of order n by n, and then transpose of T will be of order n by n. So, transpose determinant of a transpose of matrix A is equal to the matrix A. Determinant of matrix B. If A is a matrix noted as 1, 2, 2, 1, then its transpose is 1, 2, 2, 1. Here, determinant of A is equal to 1 minus 4, that is minus 3, and determinant of A of T is equal to 1 minus 4, that is minus 3. Second property is if we interchange any two rows and columns of a matrix, then its signs also change. For example, if there is a matrix A1, B1, B1, B1 equal to A, and we are performing an operation on this matrix, let's interchange R1 to R2, then this will be equivalent to minus of B1, B1. A1, B1. Third is if any two rows or columns of a matrix are identical, then its determinant is equal to A. For example, if there is a matrix A which is equal to A1, B1, A1, B1, 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 A2, B2. Here, as we can see that R1, sorry, C1 is equal to C2. That is, element in C1 is equal to element in C2. So, determinant of A will be equal to C. Because C1, element in C1 is equal to element in C2. Next property is, if any one row or column of a matrix is multiplied by a scalar number or a non-positive number or then the value of new determinant will be uh, that times of the value of the original determinant. For example, if we have a matrix A, okay, A, 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 B, A, C, or we have A1, A2, and A2. Then, this will be equivalent to taking out A out, A, B, C, A1, A2, A2. Next property is, if each element of any row or column consists of two terms, then the determinant can be expressed as a sum of other determinants. That is, if we have a matrix, A is equal to x1 plus a1, x1 plus a2, x1 plus a3. And here a2, a3, a4, and here c1, c2, c3. Then this will be broken out into two determinants. x1, x2, x3, a2, a3, a4, c1, C2, C2, plus A1, A2, A3, A2, A3, A4, C1, C2, C3. Next property is, is if any row or column consists of 
consist of elements which contain only zero, then the determinant is equal to zero. That is, if a is equal to zero, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, then its determinant will be zero. Next property is if the value of a determinant remains unaffected. If a row or column is multiplied by a number, or if a row of an expression is multiplied by a number and then added and subtracted from any number, then the determinant remains unaffected. For example, if there is a matrix A1, B1, A2, B2, B2 C2, C3, 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 and we are performing an operation on this that is c1 tends to c1 plus m c2 minus m c3 then this will be come out a1 plus m b1 minus m c1 a2 plus m b2 minus m c2 a3 plus M B three minus M C three, and this remaining element will be C C two C three. Now we will discuss adjoint of matrix. Adjoint of a square matrix of order n, denoted by adjoint of A, is equal to transpose of C I J of C. That is transpose of cofactors of transpose of cofactors of matrix A. Now let us see this to an example. In this example, it is given there is a matrix A of the order two by two, and we have to find the adjoint of A. First, we will find the cofactors of A. Yes. C11 is equal to minus 1 to power 1 plus 1. M11 is equal to minus 1 to power 2 into 4, which will come out 1 into 4 is equal to 4. C12 is equal to minus 1 to power 1 plus 2, and M of 1 to is equal to minus 1 to power 3 into 1, 1, and 2. That is minus 1 into 3 is equal to minus 2. C13 is equal to minus 1 to power 1 plus 3 into M of 1 3 is equal to minus 1 4 into. Sorry. Look. 2 1. 2 1. 2 1. So this will come out. 3. Into one into two, equal to minus one into two. This will come out minus two. Here, p of two two is equal to minus one two plus two m of two two is equal to minus one to power four into two two one is equal to one into one is equal to one. So, cofactors of a is not in the matrix. Is C11, C12, C21, C22 is equal to 4 minus 3 minus 2, 1. Now, adjoint of A is equal to uh, C. I J is equal to four minus two minus two I. Next is inverse of matrix. Inverse of matrix, which is noted as this, is equal to one upon determinant of A into adjoint of A. By using this formula. We can find out the inverse of A, where um, 
this is the determinant of a determinant of a and this is the adjoint of a so firstly we will find out the determinant of a if determinant of a is equal to 0 then inverse of a does not exist. Inverse of a exists only if determinant of a is not equal to 0. Then thereafter we will find out the adjoint of a. By, uh, uh, to find the adjoint of a, first we will find the cofactors of a. Then we will do the transpose of cofactors of A. Then this will equal to adjoint of A. After that, by using this formula, we can calculate the inverse of a matrix. So let us understand this through an example. In this example, it is given that A is a matrix and we have to find out its inverse. Here, A is a matrix of order 2 by 2. Firstly, we will find out the determinant. Determinant of A is equal to. 2 into 4 minus 3 into minus 1, which will is equal to 8 minus of minus 2 is equal to 11, which is not equal to 0. Hence, inverse of matrix XA exists. Now we will find out the cofactors of A. Cofactors of C. C11 is equal to 1 into m of 1 1 is equal to m of 1 1 is equal to 4 c of 1 2 is equal to minus 1 into m of 1 2 1 2 is equal to minus 3 c of 1 2 1 is equal to minus 1 into m of 1 m of 2, 1 is equal to 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 is equal to 1. C of 2, 2 is equal to 1 into m of 2, 2 is equal to which is 1 into 2 is equal to 2. Now, adjoint of A is equal to 4 minus 3, 1, 2 ka transpose, which is equal to 4 minus 3, 1, 2. Now, A inverse is equal to 1 of determinant A into adjoint of A is equal to 1 upon determinant of A is equal to 11. Then this is 4 minus 3, 1, 2, which is equal to 4 by 11, minus 3 by 11, 1 by 11, and 2 by 11. This is our answer.